readers, I'm Amy and I'm your nonfiction feminist. Today is the obligatory bookshelf haul, bookshelf reorganization thing. I'm not planning on doing these videos very often. Personally, I don't find them to be the most interesting videos, but I was inspired by Ariel Bissett's recent bookshelf tour because her like edits and stuff were just really cool. So. We're, we're, we're gonna do the bookshelf thing today. Um, this is my door. <laughs> Here we have the bulk of my bookshelves. Um, this one is two sets of four um, crates, top and bottom. And then the Stephen King shelf is all just five crates, one on top of the other. Then we have another two sets of four and then this is the shelf that I most recently made, which I made another straight shelf and it fits perfectly right there. So I'm just going to leave it. This is the um, kind of plant wall that I have just started. These are fake. I've, I've started buying fake plants because heaven forbid I keep a plant alive. I just let you in. I just let you in. You really want to go out already? He's, oh, he's so terrible. <sighs> I closed the door because of the washing machine sound. Of course, when I close this, then he's going to want to come back in again. Um, this is a map cork board, which is part of something that I'm going to be starting in the new year. This is my share poster. Share is the goddess. Don't argue with me. Um, husband's army of darkness poster. Someone said it's the Italian one. I don't know. Also, um, reading lamp and rocking chair. This is the electric fireplace that I got from my mother-in-law. This is the desk that I got from my mother-in-law. It's one of those um, with the cover on it. Love it. Also, this whole area used to be the closet and I just pulled the doors off because they were sliding doors and they were annoying. So now I've got all of my like arts and crafts stuff on the top. My desk has its own little kind of nook and cranny. Also, I told you that he would barge his way back in here. We're here in the hallway with my little half shelf. This was going to be a full shelf at one point, but whenever we moved here, a friend helped me decide against it because it actually just really makes a nice end mark for the hallway. So we have the Harry Potter illustrated books. This is also usually where I try and keep my husband's Dungeons and Dragons books. They also have a spot in the dining room, so they kind of switch back and forth. Harry Potter shelf, sci-fi shelf, and this was the dystopia shelf, but I moved those books whenever my husband and I played that blind book game. Um, now it has a lot of my sex education nonfiction, Chris's writing books, and I think I'm going to move the rest of this into my library, and this is then going to house the art books and the music books, um, some of my bigger books, like my Lucille Ball collectible books. So, like, the, the less interesting books for BookTube will be on the hallway shelf that I never show in my videos because I don't think about it because all the rest of my books are in the library. Give it 
I kind of sped through that and didn't film everything because, again, I don't want this to be like a totally exhaustive video. But let's do another little tour. Here is my desk. I haven't figured out what to do with this light up tree yet. Um, it was one of the props at our wedding. On the top, I've got one of my new, like, stained glass mosaic lamps that I've been wanting to put in here. That's my dad and my mom, me in both photos as a little tiny person. And the, this is my TBR for the rest of November and for December, which if I'm posting this video at the end of November, hopefully I've already read these. This is a tiny little bookshelf that I got from someone at the Friends of the Library. This is all classics, um, except for these ones at the top are paperbacks that lay flat, so they're really great for photos. I've got my Barnes Noble classics in rainbow order. What else? These are all like my tiny classics and my penguin cloth bound that I have. These are more the regular kind of modern book sized classics, uh, trade paperbacks, I think they're called. And we got some hard covers. Top of this side, we have my fiction TBR. These are kind of my non-fiction sex education books. Also some feminism books in there. This shelf is generally war-focused non-fiction, except for Tattooist of Auschwitz, which is a fiction book that is based on a true story. We've got the science-y non-fiction. This is a jar that has batteries in the lid, and whenever you turn it on, you tap it, and the butterfly kind of comes to life. Then we have my psychology non-fiction and all of my Mary Roach books. Young Adult, which I've got a little more room for should I decide to get any more Young Adult. These are the memoirs that I've read. And continuing the classics shelves. Because as you can see, I did not have space for any more classics on those shelves over by my desk. Jurassic Park isn't a classic, I just really like this copy, and all my other versions of these books are classics. Here's the Stephen King shelf. This started with all of Chris's books, and then I added to it with books that I got from the Friends of the Library and a couple of other sales. This book I will link up in the corner. This is the book that I destroyed for an art project. We've got an aluminum and spitball creation given to me by a friend, and my little glass jellyfish that I got from an aquarium in Vegas. And this is two of my bridesmaids' bouquets that I put together into one vase. And some more books that I haven't read but that lay open flat and are great for photos. Here's the nonfiction I still have to read, and I put it on top of the fiction side and the to-be-read fiction on top of the nonfiction side just to kind of balance everything out. Here is another recent fake plant edition that I thought was really cute. Now all the horror finally has a shelf to itself! How awesome is that? Then we follow that up with dystopia women's fiction, feminist dystopia, just those kinds of books. Below that we have the science fiction, largely consisting of my never-ending Michael Crichton collection. I've got two shelves of contemporary with a little bit of translated fiction and a little bit of poetry kind of added in there. This shelf is some of my favorite contemporary books, which is why they're all kind of grouped together. Last, we've got the fiction section, including my old school versions of Harry Potter, 
Yes, most of the hardcovers are missing their jackets because I was young and I took them off because I didn't like them. I still don't like them. They get in the way of everything. I am currently missing the second book because it is on loan to some friends who are reading it to their little baby girl. And we've got the rest of my fantasy, which thanks to Mistborn, I think this collection's gonna grow. That is it for my reorganization and bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions on my books, please leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, be my friend on social media, ring the notification bell down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends. <laughs>